Good morning everyone. Hello, how are you doing guys? Lovely to see you. I have not been vlogging for quite a while and there's some few things that I need to catch up with you today as well. A little bit of haul and more and more. Let me just sit down. I'm so excited to see you because I have not seen you for quite a while. I hope you are doing well. I'm always curious what's happening in your life and what's changes so please write down in the comments below if you want to let me know what what have been happening in your life as you know from my previous videos and um, what's changed i'm back to work full time and i'm working about nine hours a day it, it's quite possible that i'm going to be working a little bit more and so one of my days off i'm going to dedicate to record the video for you and today is my day off today is thursday but i will try to i'll try to i have to have that video for the weekend for you so I'm going to record it today and I'm going to edit, upload it, ready to go. I will try not to make this video too long. It's very hard to judge how long a video is going to be because I have lots of different footage and I want to put it together. It has to make sense as well. Um, but yes, shopping today, I did a little bit of shopping, small little bit of shopping, but again, I am trying to be really conscious of what I'm buying, not to spend too much or things that I don't really like. But you know how much I love Reese and I've always been happy with the Reese so, so much. Um, therefore, I'm kind of happy to keep keep doing a purchases with Reese, and I'm looking for more jewelry, um, handbags, accessories. But I've been very very sensible this month, <laughs> and I'm really trying to do my research. Although the things that I bought today, again, I have not seen them in the stores. We only after coming back or after we open our doors. Um, I'm not working for Reese. I'm working for the huge retail company, but it's not Reese. <laughs> Reese, I would love to. <laughs> I'd love to be ambassador. I keep saying that in every video. You probably just get tired of me. She's just begging. They might just give it to me because they'd be sick of listening to me. <laughs> but I love the brand so much. What an amazing brand. I keep saying all the time. It just fits my style perfectly. But um, what I want to chat with you is... First of all, the last video that you watched, a makeup video, has been such, um, not maybe disaster, but a quite difficult. What's happened, I've recorded, um, I think a week before, and I, was, I thought it was a great video, but when I sat down and started editing, I decided, no, 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 this is too long. No one's gonna watch it. And I also had a problem with the light um, as I was kind of, I'm always facing, trying to face like even now a window to get a little bit of kind of light, natural light, which I love the most. I don't really want to look artificial light, use artificial light, even I have one. Different story. But anyway, it was cloudy and then it was sunny. So the light was changed all the time and some part of the recording become very exposed. And it's very hard to see in the rear view when you're watching it. And um, when you're recording, I'm always looking at the rear view um, screen. But... I could not see that was so overexposed and sometimes that footage is very very hard to edit and does not look natural anymore so I'm trying not to edit any kind of color in my videos so second time went a little bit better which was last Monday and I was delayed with uploading that video because I promise you I'm gonna have it on Saturday I uh, announced it on Instagram and it didn't happen um, so on Monday I was recording quickly and then tried to edit in and turned out really really well so it's a makeup uh, with Charlotte Tilbury product it's not sponsored I purchased all those products myself and they're my kind of Charlotte Tilbury favorites so um, yeah that video is there if you want to watch it it's it's better than it was I still I feel the lighting could be better again it was kind of sunny on and off day this is the conditions that vloggers, bloggers um, have to work photographers as well. But I think it's, it's turned out really well um, at the end of the day. I'm really, really happy with it. Also, my hair on the camera just does not look as a look in reality. I think my hair looks much healthier and better and fuller than it actually looks over here. And also, I don't have that much redness in my hair as a look on the camera. I need to change the setting, I think, on the camera for the future uh, but the weather also update it's it's been kind of on and off raining and it's actually i think it starts raining a few minutes ago and i think it's gonna stay raining for a day i went back to work so i'm working um did i mention <laughs> i'm just gonna did i mention that already i'm working five days a week and i am working about nine hours a day so honestly when i come home i just don't know is it a day or is it night? I'm so tired. All I do is just stare blankly at a TV and try not to do any more thinking or walking ever again. So what's changed? I feel 
that I've been doing a lot of, I don't feel I know, I've been doing a lot of emotional eating. I'm not an emotional eater, but it looks like I am doing a lot of emotional eating. Um, so it's just everything just become after coming back to work suddenly. Our government announced that yes, um, some retailers can go back to work, and it's because it so happens so fast, I'm completely out of my habits, routines, and thrown into the deep water. I find it very hard to keep up my health, my food, um, cooking, eating healthy, exercise. I have no energy left on it for exercising as I'm working so much in work. Um, so it's been a little bit all over the place but once i'm going to find my feet in this situation i will actually do more research as well and more reading about this and if i f i'm sure i will find a way out of this kind of madness and uh, chaos <laughs> literally um when i find myself back i'm going to make a video about it and hopefully this is going to be helpful to you to find your way back from this kind of mad situation um but yeah so i think we should go to the room do something positive open together three boxes three boxes i have a sneak peek with one of them i could not wait i have to have a look at it but i'm really curious about two other boxes one from reese and also a handbag new handbag um yeah so let's go to the other room and have a look at it let's have a look at it together have something positive in this video for a change <laughs> So these are three boxes that we're going to have a look at it together. They arrived about two days ago, but I have to have a sneak peek. <laughs> I was waiting for this jewelry for so long, never bought anything from Swarovski and I just couldn't wait. So I apologize for that, but I have to have a look. So these are a beautiful pearl earrings from Swarovski in a silver color. Let me just get a focus. Now we have it. And I thought they were so cute on the website. So I'm going to try them on with you. And I never wore um, drop earrings like that. I'm always wear more stud pearls or any other earrings. But so this is something new out of my comfort zone. And I hope it's going to work. Let's keep the fingers crossed and let's put it on. So these are my new earrings from Swarovski and they are so pretty and cute. I hope you like them. This is a very, very unusual for me to wear something like that. And it's, yeah, it's the first time for me to wear drop earrings, never before. And this is the one that I'm wearing kind of all the time, just to start the stud earrings that Colin bought for me in Poland when we were on holidays from the jewelry store. And I am trying to invest in more expensive jewelry. I feel this is reasonably priced for Swarovski. I'm definitely going to be looking for more higher end as well jewelry in the future because I want to have maybe five pair of earrings and just love them forever and have them forever and maybe not to change them for anything else. Um, so I'm just taking my time and kind of experimenting at the moment and I feel Swarovski or Pandora it's a perfect to kind of test your, te test your taste with jewelry because it's very hard to know immediately what you really like, but I think they're lovely and elegant and kind of sophisticated is exactly what I was looking for. I'm not sure that it suits me. I need a little bit more time to adjust myself to drop earrings. Let me know what you think in comments below. Do you like them? Or should I stick with kind of a stud uh, type of earrings that I have? I think I have four or five pair of earrings and they all stud like like that just a small size also i love on all the vloggers when they have a few different earrings um alongside but i feel i'm going away from sophisticated look therefore i'm not really sure is it me again i feel with this earring i don't think i should have anything else i'm just taking away from the classic and kind of timeless style um but yeah i'm going to put in the other one i think i'm just going to keep them on for the rest of this video and try to use to it maybe i'm going to wear it home today and see how i feel about it um if i just could place this in yes there's a big actually closure on it kind of like a plastic closure um, that holds the earring very well in place please i just would love to know your opinion what do you think about them do you wear um bigger earrings what is your favorite earrings as well yeah i'm kind of excited and a little bit stressed i'm going to take the microphone and i want to show can you hear the sound as well they make when you move 
it's it's kind of a little bit i'm gonna to have to use to it because i don't like uh things that are making sound <laughs> so i'm gonna to have to use to it but it probably would be worth it it's drop earrings i should know better that they are going to make some kind of sound they also uh, from my understanding they pleated silver so i really hope they're gonna wear well because i'll be really disappointed if they go brassy or anything like that although i really look after my jewelry and it never really happen anything with it unless yes i bought something on the high street which I, most of it is gone now and i'm really really trying to invest in the better pieces so yeah let's leave them on and let's open now um maybe handbag first i am so excited about this handbag so let's open the handbag for, for, first i'm going to move the camera away because i feel that we are just very very close to each other so i want to give you some space personal space i'm gonna move camera away and let's have a look at the handbag so this handbag arrived in the massive box and i struggled with this box i think for about two minutes to open it up and try to figure out and eventually i just kind of i think i ripped top off because i'm pretty sure i'm going to keep this handbag anyway so box does not matter but let me just get this out if i can I feel like I've always struggled in my videos to get anything out of the box. I don't know, maybe it's just me. <laughs> now, let's throw it out. Go on inside, go away. Okay, so this is my new handbag from Camellia Roma. And this is not sponsored. Please remember, this is not sponsored. And if you watch my previous video, you know that I have a black handbag, which I have it here on the side. I'm actually gonna compare them together in a second for you, because I'm really curious. This is different type of leather, and I really hope it's still gonna be nice. But I just love the packaging. Look how beautifully it is packed. You can request that packaging when you're buying it as well. There is an option, would you like to have a gift wrap? And of course, I want a gift wrap. I want to see, I want to feel like it's Christmas again. <laughs> As you can see, it's very kind of Chanel style. It's just absolutely beautiful with the black bow and camellia um, artificial flower. Of course, you could not put a real flower because they don't know how long it's going to last in transit. So I'm just going to leave that beautiful flower on the side and let's open it up together. And this is actually, uh oh, this is very well wrapped. So we'll see, can I just slide maybe this off or something like that? Would it be easier? Again, it's gonna probably take me about five minutes to do it. <laughs> oh, I'm so unlucky with any unopening on this channel. So I've struggled with opening both boxes. It took me so much time. But I'm finally here. In the meantime, I decide I'm going to change my trousers for white trousers because I think what I want to show you from Reese is going to work better with my Reese trousers. So I'm wearing now white trousers. Change of plans. But let's just have a look at this new beautiful handbag. Please note that I love simplicity. I love classic and timeless pieces. And this bag is lovely and simple. And it's a handbag. In a beautiful, lovely and tan shade. I love Camellia Roma because it's such a timeless piece. Lovely handcrafted Italian designer made in Italy. And if you watch my previous video, I have a Camellia Roma handbag already. So this one is a slightly different letter and I just want to compare two of them for you together. Just in case if you have something like that um, or this one from Camellia Roma already. But, so this one I have over a year now and it wears really, really well. It's more like Safiano shine kind of smooth leather where this one is a grain leather and I hope the camera can show the grain in this handbag. So it's slightly different finish. It's more, it still looks shiny on the camera but it's kind of more on the matte side, depends what way the light will shine at. So it's slightly smaller than the black one and also on the side, you can compare both of them, um, how smaller it is versus the black one, if you have it. I know, Amanda, if you're watching it, I know you have it also. <laughs> As I mentioned before, me and Amanda, we have such a same, very similar taste in everything. It's heavens open now. I'm just looking outside the windows. I don't know, can you hear it? 
Oh, such a heavy rain. But anyway, let's go back to the handbag. So I want um, this, I have three, three colors on my mind. I really was looking for a tan handbag. I was looking for black, which I have already have tan, and also something in beige, kind of very similar to color of those chairs. And Camellia Roma in each style have the four colors. I think the fourth color is a kind of burgundy red wine, which I'm not looking for. I prefer beige, tan, and the black that works with everything. But let's stop talking and have a look closer at this. I feel to wear it like that it's just so so handy and easy and also if I want to reach out to get my wallet I feel you can easily do it with one hand which I love that about it and a zip closure it will give you more security where the black uh, Camellia Roma handbag has only a clasp. Inside there is a spare belt. Again, I don't really use a belt on any of my bags at all, but inside it's in red color. I love the red colors in the handbags. I feel it just gives that little bit of more luxury because Christian Louboutin, of course, Chanel, using red, red colors also in the designs. Um, so I'm actually really excited that it's just red inside. The only thing that you might not like it, it's not suede. The black one is a suede inside. This is more like a silicone finish or to, to be honest, I think, um, let's not offend the designer, I think it's Safiano leather inside. I'm really not sure. I probably should have had a look on the website, but on the website there's a quite um, more detailed description. If you do any like handbags from Camellia Roma and they're not available, if it says sold out, under each product there's kind of email subscription. Just put your, throw, throw in your email in there and then just gonna send you an email as soon as bag arrive. Although you need to be very fast because I think that email is probably sent to many, many people and they don't have many of them in stock. So I'm waiting for another bag to appear again. I'm just checking my email every day and once appeared, but I was too late. Once I click on it, the bag was gone already. So, but it's so worth it to wait. This one is, should be still available and it's again in about four colors. I'm pretty sure it's in the black, also beige and I think the red wine as well if I'm right, if I'm really right. But what a beautiful and elegant handbag now for summer also, or for the winter, it's gonna work with many different things and so complement to, to what I'm wearing now. So I hope you like it. I hope it's gonna be on your shopping list as well. And this is not sponsored again, I just paid for this bag myself but I'm really, really happy. And I just love the one handle on it. I don't think I can put it on my, oh, I can, actually I can put it on my shoulder. I just don't like this look, but if I'm really kind of have a two hands and I'm busy, too busy browsing through Reese's store, that's actually very handy that you can put it like that. I suppose that that's what a long belt is for, but again, I'm not a big fan of longer belts on the handbag. I think I feel it takes away a little bit for a classic and sophisticated style of it, but anyway. Let's move on to Reese pieces. I hope I'm gonna have a less trouble to open that box now because it's been enough struggle for today. <laughs> so if you watch my previous Reese haul videos, this is a top that I bought in size six and it's actually too big, but, and I apologize if my bra is sticking out sometimes, I really apologize for that because I need to take that in and I'm too lazy to do it myself. I'm gonna wait and maybe just give it to someone or wait for my mom to be able to take that in for me. I've just touched the microphone. <laughs> Stay away, Joanna, from microphone. So it's a little bit gaping, a little bit too big, but I missed a return deadline. I thought it was 60 days. It was at the time, and I was kind of like, oh, will I want the exchange? I was a little bit lazy with it. And then last time I've checked, it's 14 days now, so we have to be really quick. If you not sure about something about the size, we need to be quick. This is actually open. Uh-oh, <laughs> I hope everything is in it. Yes, there are three pieces in it. A lot of noise. Let's start from maybe um, least excited because as I mentioned, it's only for works. So this is a beige top. It's a kind of, I think it's either long sleeve or three quarter sleeve top. But again, it's of course the color that I love, a nude. It is actually long sleeve, I kind of forgot, but I just loved it for a kind of different, interesting neckline. And this fabric feels like, 
let's have a look what it is actually but please note I know one of the comments on the video was that um, one of you guys didn't like my grey kind of wrist top because it's a viscose but I personally feel it does not feel like an inexpensive viscose more like a lovely luxury silky cotton um, so this one is let's just check 100% polyester but again this is not a typical maybe couple euro polyester this feels more like a silk i think i'm just going to show you a little bit closer so i hope you will be able to see a fabric a little bit better the one thing that i have to say one thing many things that i have to say about reese is they fabrics are not inexpensive looking even if they sound all polyester or viscose, but I believe there is a different types of viscose and polyester. I'm not sure. I need to learn, educate myself more about fabrics, but this is, feels like a soft silk. There is no, there's no really stretch in this top, but I'm going to put that on in one second for you. We try it on together. Um, we change the camera as well in the different position and we're going to try it on. So this is only for work. Um, not necessary for work for recording video, but you never know. I might like it so much. They're so gonna see me <laughs> wearing this all the time So next piece very very predictable. Of course, I need trousers and they finally appeared after I think two or three months me hunting these trousers um, appeared in a size 4 This top also all those pieces are in size 4 Please remember, I'm always keeping, uh, keep repeating myself that Reese actually is quite large fitting. And a size four is the smaller size they have in offer. I feel they could go even one size down um, because most of those pieces are quite big on me. So these are just a, a surprise, surprise beige trousers. I think guys, you're gonna be fed up with me soon with wearing all the beige and neutral colors simple beige trousers again for work there's no cuff at the bottom or nothing but they have a lovely belt details and i felt i just want to look elegant in work i'm just tired wearing on kind of inexpensive pieces that just wears off so quickly and after a couple of washes they just don't look right and i feel like i'm wasting money so instead of buying trousers for 25 euro why not invest in a sale pieces from reese that i will have and love and wear for a long time so I hope I'm gonna like those trousers and let's just check the fabric as you know I'm not a big fan of linen and I hope there's not much yeah it is only wool polyester and a little bit of elastin in it so they will be a little bit nice and stretchy so I'm gonna try them with you as well but again please remember they're not more kind of like a fashionable I wasn't looking for very fashionable pieces but one of them is fashionable, one of them is, and this top, I was looking at this top, a minute arrived as well, and I was waiting for a sale, I just, I want a sale, I love um, when they become reduced and more available to all of us. And color white again, I, I become, I think I'm boring guys, because I'm stick to the same color palette, but I promised myself I stick to what I love, and I bought recently two black tops, and I'm not really convenient about them, convinced, convenient, convinced about them. So this is, um, would that be halter neck top? I think it's called halter neck. Um, white top, it has a very low back, so it's very elegant, and I suppose I won't be able to wear the brow with this, and bow kind of details around the waist. I'm most excited about this one to try it on with you. It look beautiful on the model also. There's another white top from Reese that I'm hunting and just again waiting for a sale because I think it's about 180 euro and it's also on my list. I feel those pieces, they are just so elegant and so timeless. And if I wear them probably with the trousers that I have, they might kind of look like a one set. Although I can see it's a little bit more off-white versus the trousers from Reese that I'm wearing. Slightly, slightly different shade very very little difference but I feel they might actually look like a one set I'm curious I need to try them with you and I hope you're going to be as excited as I am so starting off this beautiful pink blushy kind of a peachy color in the top from Reese and what a lovely feeling fabric it's definitely not a typical kind of like a polyester it feels more like a heavy silk if I could say it 
<laughs> please don't abuse me in the comments about this, but I love the feeling of it. I have to say it's a beautiful feeling, luxury feeling, and it's a double-sided fabric. Therefore, there's no kind of like a visible seams over here or on the neckline. All it is is just a flip up part of the neckline with a little bit of a details on the shoulders on this side and this is actually flipping over here flip <laughs> flip out also over here and details more details on the sleeve both sleeves have a details it's a good length as well let me take this out just to show you the length of this top if you're looking for something a little bit longer as you know me i love wearing it in tucked in in my trousers but it's very, very comfortable. There's loads of room in it for size four and there's no stretch in it yet. It feels like it has a stretch in it and kind of move with your body. So it's definitely enough for a size four. I have loads of room. I was kind of maybe conscious of it. It might be a little bit too small, but definitely not. There's loads of room in it and it was easy to put it on also. So it's a good top for Irish weather where we need a long sleeve quite often and also in work we might have a very cold air conditioning days, it really depends but I feel maybe it's too good to wear it for work to be honest, maybe it's too good. It was only 55 euros I must say for a very long time, again size appeared suddenly so I could not resist it and I just say yes, yes to the top. Let's talk about these trousers. First time something from Reese is too small on me and clearly you can see through that gaping that it's very opened. So it's slightly kind of half size. Those trousers are too small on me. Also, I cannot put my hand in the pocket because it's so in at the moment, but it's not a problem. There is the pocket over there and there's a little bit of a gap to put your hand in it, but um, I cannot put my hands in the pocket. I would love otherwise those trousers for work because they actually work better with the flat shoes than heels. I did not like them with the heels. I'm not wearing any shoes, but I'm wearing a lot of flat shoes, trainer style shoes in work, and those trousers will work perfectly with it. So unless I'm planning to lose more weight, which I don't think is gonna happen, I think I'm gonna have to return them, unfortunately. They're just slightly too small and if I go for a bigger size, I feel a bigger size will be definitely too big. So I think first time in a very, very long time, I'm going to return something to Reese, unfortunately. <laughs> white top from Reese with white trousers from Reese also and I want to wrap this top with you just to show you a little bit more details. I just love showing you guys how it is exactly because it's so hard to see it on the website. I'm not going to show you a little bit more but it's literally just opening over here and I actually am wearing a brow with this even if it's such a low top at the back. There's a lot of room also in it over here which is great and a lot of room here at the front and this is size 4 and I promise you guys I am not size 4 I'm kind of floating between size 8 and 6 also on this side there is a little bit of opening when you can pull that belt through and to be honest it's a little bit too low for me I personally would prefer if that was in my narrowest waist part and I feel that maybe this is not supposed to be a high, kind of like a middle waist, highest point wrap top. Maybe it's supposed to be a little bit lower. So I'm going to leave it lower for the moment. And also I won't be able to tuck in this top into my trousers. So <laughs> this could be a little bit of an, an issue over here for me to try to highlight my waist. Because I do like highlighting my waist. Also, it's very nice kind of over here. It won't be really gaping if I want to reach out for something. So there won't be any kind of exposure of my breasts. <laughs> but let's just wrap this around together and see what's going to happen. I'm not going to make a bow. I'm just going to leave it hang loose for the moment. But it's straight away giving me this illusion. It looks like a jumpsuit, but I'm wearing actually a jumpsuit because it's the same, I think, fabric, same as the trousers and a very, very little difference in the shade. Um, so it looks like it is supposed to be worn like that together. I feel it's very, very elegant. I'm really happy with this, I have to say. I'm definitely gonna have to figure out this part. I'm gonna talk to my mom and if I can, I'm actually gonna move up this closure. A little bit of bra sticking out here, but it depends how you're actually gonna wrap this around. 
but there's so much fabric over here that probably you get away without a bra if you really, really want to. But also, just to finish the look, of course, Camellia Roma handbag. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like some of those pieces. I this from clothes. This is my favorite top from the this Reese haul, and this is exactly what I would wear all the time. And I also thank you so much for commenting. You've been absolutely amazing with your comments, guys, and for being subscribing and watching. It's just giving me so much lift and hope that this channel will grow and hopefully will just grow enormously. <laughs> but I'm sending loads of hugs to all of you. If you're new here, I would love if you could subscribe to my channel. Lots of hugs, kisses, and I will see you in my next video. So I'm not sure are you still here, guys. I know I said goodbye to you already, but I just love a little bit of vlogging. Maybe that's what I should be doing as well, also at the end of the video, maybe just a little bit of vlogging. But I want to say thank you um, to Jenny, who is commenting under my every single video. And I understand not everyone wants to comment, and I do appreciate for you even to watching it. Even if you're not commenting, not everyone wants to comment which is fine it's absolutely it's okay but if someone leaving comments like that all the time inspiring comments like jenny i just really want to say thank you to jenny personally <laughs> through this uh, through this video through this youtube channel and also i receive amazing a comment uh, from new mercy if i'm saying this right under one of my reese videos it was so inspiring and so positive make me there will be lots of so because it's just an amazing comment and i have to say it made my day not even not even a day i think it made my week it's just helped me so much to understand what you think guys and also uplift my mood and make me feel that it's just so worth it i know by the views i know it's worth it to record it but when i receive a beautiful comment like that i just feel i should always recognize them um everyone who's commenting and staying here with me so if you're watching this i would love to say thank you for watching it and not commenting also and being a subscriber i it's absolutely amazing if you only passing by thank you so much for passing by and even clicking on this video it just means a lot but if you're new here if you want to stay do subscribe press that subscribe button also and just the little bell that reminds you every time i upload the video but i think that's for now <laughs> for today it's enough for today loads of hugs loads of love and i will see you definitely in my next video